Hey, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. So it is the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this year, celebrating 70 years of serving the people. And as a proud British citizen, I thought I'd pull one of old, well, then Princess Elizabeth's speeches from 1947 and have a go at restoring it. Make sure you watch to the end to find out what happened. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Let's get to it. I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. Hit like and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. Queen Elizabeth II celebrating her Platinum Jubilee this month. 70 years of service to the people as our monarch here in the UK. I'm very proud to be British and I'm very, very excited to grab a speech of Princess Elizabeth on her 21st birthday uh, back in 1947. It was broadcast on a radio station in Cape Town in South Africa. 21st birthday. I welcome the opportunity. So we got all kinds of issues going on there. We got crackle, we got hiss, we got degradation, we've got old recording equipment. Let's see what we can do with it. And the first tool I'm going to show you here is a tool that will clean up all those little crackles that are going on in the background. The first thing I like to do when I'm working in Adobe Audition, as I am right now, to clean up this speech is to switch on the spectral frequency display. Shift and D or that key up there, that little shortcut icon. And that'll give you a lot of problematic stuff. If this were normal speech, we would simply have waveforms where we could see the audio and black everywhere else. It's not kind of looking like that now. Let's zoom in and really get a look at the crackle. So you see these yellow little lines here. These are all the crackles on Queen Elizabeth or Princess Elizabeth's speech as she was then. Let's listen. There's a very prominent crackle right there. And you can see that the crackles are generally appearing here, so anywhere up to 4 to 4.5k. So we can really zero in on those crackles, and I'll just show you how this uh, tool would work on a little example. If I go ahead now and go to the window and look for diagnostics right here, I can go into D-Clicker, and depending on what I'm working with, in this case I'll go for heavy reduction, I can now scan just this small sample and frequency range, like so, and it'll find me 44 individual clicks going on just there. Repair them all, and watch how they disappear. Most of them disappear. I'm going to undo that, see they all come back here, and then repair all. Boom, it's getting rid of most of them. This one, it didn't quite... So most of the clicks you can hear have now gone but some of the bigger ones remain. No worries, I've got another tool for this one right here. I can actually turn on the Spot Healing Brush tool up here and grab that and then make it bigger or smaller using the curly brackets, just big enough to get that click. And then what I can do is I can go from top to bottom holding shift and paint over the click. And look, it's disappeared. That's amazing. Now that big click has completely gone. Of course, if I want to run it on the whole sample, all I need to do is zoom right out. And again, I'm going to marquee select using this marquee selection tool, just the lower end frequencies, because there are no clicks up in the high end. So there's no point in running this tool over audio that doesn't need to be repaired. Scan everything and repair all. And there, did you see the, the clicks disappeared? Watch undo. There are the clicks in the bottom and then repair all again. Boom, gone. Okay. And again, as I say, catching any of those really big clicks with the spot healing brush tool, shift and paint down and it's gone. And of course, sometimes we get some in the lower end there. We can just paint over multiple times and that click has completely gone. The next step, once clearing up clicks in very old recordings using the D-clicker inside the diagnostics window, we can go ahead and do some kind of noise reduction. Uh, you may have seen it before on my channel that I go into favorites uh, or sorry, effects, noise reduction. I'd capture a noise print and use the noise reduction process. Today, I'm going to try denoise, and I'm going to show you the impact it has by switching on the preview editor here. So you'll see before, up the top, and after, down the bottom. Effects, noise reduction restoration, denoise. And look at that, up at 84%, we're seeing much more uh, what we should be seeing in spectral, which is just audio or highlights where the speech is and no background noise uh, as we could see before. So let's dial this in a little bit until we get a sound that we like. And as we dial it up more, we see it's reducing more of that background noise. Let's play back a bit now. But there are multitudes of friends all around the world who are thinking of me and who wish me well. And then switch it off. But there are multitudes of friends. And then on. But there are multitudes of friends. 
So as you can hear so far, what it has done over there is it has cleaned up all the background noise. We've got rid of the clicks, we've denoised it, but we haven't improved the quality. How do we do that? Using AI, of course. So I'm going to show you a few tools right now. And the first one of which I'm going to drag onto my screen now. I've already preloaded uh, Queen Elizabeth II or Princess Elizabeth as she was right then into Descript. Descript has a brilliant AI effect called Studio Sound. Here it is, Studio Sound. So if I play back a bit of the speech here. 21st birthday. I welcome the opportunity. That is the original file with all the crackle and hiss. Switch on Studio Sound. It does its thing. I processed this earlier so we didn't have to wait for it to happen. 21st birthday. I welcome the opportunity to speak to all the people of the British Commonwealth Empire. Now you can hear that sounding better, but it's not quite great. And that's because I left all the hiss and all the clicking in. So it's kind of like blipping in and out with the clicks. So what I did is I ran that enhancement and I saved the file as Princess Elizabeth brackets better. So now we can check this out and we've got a cleaned up version. Princess birthday. I welcome the opportunity. Much less clicking going on there, much less trouble. Switch on studio sound. I welcome the opportunity to speak to all the people of the British Commonwealth Empire. So it's great. And we can also dial up and down the intensity if we like. So we can make it sort of 43%. I welcome the opportunity to speak to all the people of the British Commonwealth Empire. And we can dial the intensity to such a level where it's just about sounding a bit better without making it sound too robotic because the AI has gone completely crazy with all the tools and just, you know, enhanced stuff uh, to the extent where it doesn't sound normal to the human ear. There's also another project that I want to give a big shout out to, and it's from Adobe. It's currently an alpha only, so you have to apply to get access at this present time, uh, but it's called Project Shasta. And I actually ran the cleaned up version of Princess Elizabeth's speech into this. And then I ran a filter, which is similar to Descript. It's called Enhanced Speech. And again, I think it's done a tremendous job. Let's have a listen. Thank you, I welcome the opportunity to speak to all the people of the British Commonwealth Empire, wherever they live, whatever race they come from, and whatever language they speak. So out of all those AI tools, we had Descript, we had Adobe's Project Shasta, and we had Mike Russell working the decks of the noise reduction tools in Adobe Audition. Let me know in the comments down below which did the best job, and maybe I get to keep my day job for now. Let me know. Creative.com